K-Pop Rising. Now, uh, in K-Pop, there's some great singer-songwriters who connect with their fans in small venues rather than on big stages. And it's really harder for us to see them. But one thing's for certain, once we do see them, we fall in love with them. And today's K-Pop Rising guest is Cho young Now, Cho young is a singer-songwriter who first appeared on season one of the 2012 audition program Star Edition, The Great Birth. Now, he got a lot of attention for his romantic voice and handsome looks. In October 17th, he released his first solo debut album, Him. Now, this album is even more meaningful because he helped produce it himself. And uh, yes, we have him in the building. Hello, can you please say hello to our super K-pop listeners hello. around the world? It's been a long time uh, since we've done Tanseng. Uh, hello, listeners of Super K-pop Rising. Uh, um, it's Cho hyung My name is Cho hyung uh-huh. And I um, made the debut with a song called Someone I Know. Someone I Know. It's called Anan Namja in Korean. Uh-huh. Yes, um, the album title is called Him. Him. Um, stands for Hyungu I Am. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and there it is. Well, I want to give you a clap. Yes, it's really, uh, you know, I'm so glad you're here, and it's really nice, nice to, to meet, you, meet you. Nice to meet you. And, uh, yeah, how's it feel being here on Super K-Pop Radio? Oh, it's fantastic. Um, It's been a really, really long time since I last spoke in English. Right. Because I was all going around in Korean broadcasting right. systems. So I'm like kind of slowly converting. No, but you're myself. perfect. You're yeah. really perfect because I was yeah. ready to do Thank this you. interview in Korean because I didn't know you spoke English. But oh, after yeah. talking to you outside, I was like, "Wow, you speak English." Yes, I thought that I was supposed to. But yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I, I wanted to. I wanted to. Yeah, your actually. English is very good, and Thank uh, you. you know, we're wondering. Uh, mm. I know you recently uh, released your latest album. Yes. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing really good. Um, actually, uh, we've been doing the music shows and right. the broadcasting like TVs, and so maybe hopefully you have seen them on the YouTube, like uploaded oh, yeah. clips and all that. And it's um, I've been really enjoying it. I w- actually I was like at first before we go into the programs, uh, I was kind of worried about because it's been such a long time right. since I last on the stage, right? On the like um, live stages, right? It's been like almost three years. Wow. So, yes. So yeah. three years before what stage were you on? Were you doing like um, just... Three sh- years or two years. I was... Uh, three years I was on the Vidyan uh, Tanseng okay. Great Birth uh, okay. stage. And um, one year before, I was... I released an EP with Kain. It's okay. Called, the song's called Brunch. I heard but, it. I really yeah, like but that. But we didn't Brunch. go on to the live stage. Right. So... It's been really long time since I was on TV right. live stage. What's that feeling like, though? Like waiting like three years, and now you're on that big stage. Oh yes, uh, but I was I, I was always like tried to be comfortable. I was right. trying to uh, I'm kind of free person. Right. So yeah, during that time, I was trying to enjoy myself. Right. Like, you know, when I got some time, I you know I'm a songwriter. So right. I get on the songwriting. I like to go around on a bus or like on a tour and like write I'll songs. Go. Yes, yes. Oh, that's that's good because uh, myself, I, I like writing in uh, various places, maybe on yes. the bus yes, or, yes. or the coffee shop. Yeah, true. Coffee or shop. in the studio. Coffee shop. But uh, like I said, uh, you uh, released uh, your you know your recent album not too long mm-hmm. ago, and it's called Him. Mm-hmm. So uh, there are a lot of listeners out there. Could you tell us a little bit about this album, Him? Uh, the hymn right. is about. I like this album because it's uh, it gets more into myself. Right. Because before like this moment, I didn't have much opportunity to explain about like deep inside myself. Right. Because people see me about just um pure polite good man, but right. actually every people have some kind of darkness or sadness. Right. Inside your heart. So maybe I thought that uh, my stuff uh, felt that maybe it's a good time. To talk about yourself and your your inner self, right? So this album we focused a bit more, bit more privately, uh-huh. speaking about your, you know, your inner your, self, your inner self, right? And the and the covers and the, all the concept about it. The song's called "Someone I Know," mm. and it's about um, there's a man right. and there's a woman. I love the woman, but this woman we broke up. Uh-huh. Uh, oh my goodness! Sometime some time ago yeah and she comes with another like other man right and she says that oh that's someone i know wow and that's really yeah it, is uh, this you know when, when you when you wrote this it, mm. is this uh based on a, a real story or right. on just like imagination uh yeah 
the title, the someone I know, is I didn't write it, but um, I always spoke uh, with the staffs or you know the composers and lyricists. Uh. I was very close. Like uh, so, you basically to... put your ideas to yes, the song as yes, well. Yes, because even, like, even them knows about my past. You right. know, lovers and... I, I I like the way you said that because you know most of the time when people see us, they only see like the the outside. Yes, but they yes. don't really see the the, the inside. The, you know the deep, the hurt, mm -hmm. the pain, yes. the flaws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think that's a good way for us musicians uh, to really display that uh, through our music. The musicians want to talk about ourselves. Right. So. That's, that's why we do music yes, to talk about our, you know, ourselves. Mm. And uh, how is the, the the reception? How are people receiving this new album, him? Um, I really like it because uh, people like I heard it. Um, maybe it's a bit awkward for me to say it, but people actually said it so many times. The song's really nice. Right. This song is really nice. Uh huh. Yeah. And I I, I say the song is really nice too because I saw mm. I not. You know, only listen to the song, but also saw the music video. Mm -hmm. The music yeah, video, yeah, yeah. like a couple of your music videos, it's are creepy. really it's kind of creepy. It's uh, <laughs> rather than creepy, it's very unique. I, yeah, I like the idea, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, the the motive that, that you're trying to aim for. Hmm. And uh, while you were uh, working on this, you know, this new album, him, hmm. uh, who gave you the most help? Um, I know you do the writing and the you know the yes, composing and all that. Yes. So many people, like including the staffs, composers, producers, of course. But maybe I could say Miss Lim Kim, oh, who featured this song right. with uh, such a mystic voice. Right. Oh, I like her voice. Very, yes. very mystic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. End of the song. She like um she um throws a really uh, such a powerful like feeling into the song. Right. And um. Actually, we we seeked for many female vocalists right. uh, who could sing this and you know feature this song, but um, a long time for searching. But after that, we could um, end up end up with the answer that um, she's in the same company with us. Oh, okay. Yes, and um, it's uh, Lim yeah. Kim. You felt like yeah, uh, maybe she Lim was the, right the perfect one. person for yeah. uh, the featuring. Yeah. And, and right. uh, mm. I think the reception is really good. Everyone likes it. Mm. And uh, like, yeah, I was talking about your music video. It's uh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the piano. The yes. piano comes out a lot yes. on uh, one of the music videos. Mm. Now, what is uh, the piano to you? I know you brought in your guitar too, but what does the piano mean to you? Um, I play the guitar a uh, lot more in front of the audience because of Vidyan dancing maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but um, piano is a, is a very important instrument because that's how I started music first. All right. I didn't start music uh, by singing, mm -hmm. but I started um, playing piano when I was in the first grade. So that's how I started the, the mu music. Like um, I learned how to play you know, instrument, how to look at the scores and all that. Mm -hmm. And we used, uh, not the grand piano, but we used the cabinet, upright piano, right. that um, we could find it in every home. Right. Uh, that makes the this album really private, mm -hmm. kind of, because that's, that's where we first learned piano. Like, right. We so you piano. must be like, you must be really good. Are you good at, uh, are you better at the piano or are you better at the uh, guitar? Um, actually, I'm kind of, both now balance, but um, I think I'm better at piano. Actually. At piano, yeah. Well, because uh, I played the piano mm -hmm. for only a year, oh. <laughs> but I forgot. Oh, yeah. maybe you should give me some piano lessons <laughs> to play like you. But uh, well, thank you so much, uh, Hyungu. Um, mm. We have a message from Canada, Canada. and, and uh, it's wow, Kathy, hello. and uh, she says, "Hello, uh, Jo Hyungu. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Super Kpop. Although I'm new to you." I just mm. like to say I really like your voice. Oh, thank you very much. It sounds really nice. I look forward to your lives today. I hope to hear more songs of yours in the future. Mm. Jo Young Woo fighting. Oh, 감사합니다. Thank you. Uh, I hope you like it. Thank you, like you so much, Kathy, for that warm message. Mm. And uh, we have another one from uh, Romania. Romania. You know wow. these messages are live, right? Wow. And they're yeah. they're watching Amazing. you right through the camera. So if you could just wave a little hi. Hey. Okay. Where's the camera? Right there outside. Outside. Right there, oh, that okay, black okay, one you okay. see there? Okay. 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 Hello. And uh, this one is from wow, Simeon. Yeah, it is. Uh, hello, uh, uh, Hyung Wushi. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. so glad to have you here. Your comeback songs are so different. 
Mm. I like Rain On Me better because your voice is so warm and I love the song of the acoustic guitar. Oh, it's written by me. Mm. Thank you. I like someone I know too, but the story is too difficult for me. Would you mind telling me what this music video is about? Rain uh, On Me. The music video, yeah. Many people was wondering I'm about I'm wondering too. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, it's about... Um, it's about two kind of identity inside you. Right. There's like a two young appears. Like um, there's like one with the glasses and one without the glasses. Right. And uh, one is uh, without the glasses was the one was the loved one. Right. Was the happy one. And um, after you wear it, you want to get rid of your lover inside uh. your heart, and it's so painful. You have to kill something. Right. For that. So the music video is quite violent. Right. Yeah. Um, so if you like l like watch the music video, you're gonna understand it. If you imagine that's like what is happening mm. in your heart after breaking. Oh, I yeah. see. I I get it now. There was like a one who loved it, who wants to hold on, who wants to um, who doesn't want to let her go. Right. But there's a one who wants to kill herself inside my heart. Oh. So like there's a like breaking. That's pretty deep though. Mm -hmm. But when I watched the music video, I felt like I was watching a movie. Yes, yes, it is. Do really. do you have any plans of acting? Because your facial expression, it was like wow. Oh, actually, I acted on a movie. It's a oh, Chinese, it's a Chinese movie. See that? Yeah, I I thought you had some you know yes, acting yes. Uh, experiences. And that actually like gave me a a long step forward for you know kind of acting because. You know, singing music is acting too in any way. Right, so, you're right. They're all connected. Yes, it's all connected. All right, well, uh, thank you so mm. much, uh, Hyungwoo. Uh, now it's time to, you know, hear your first live song. Yeah. And it's called Rain On Me. And uh, if you're ready, mm -hmm. we'll, you know, we'll be ready to listen. Okay. As he's tuning his guitar. Hold on for a second. For all right. So, uh, so this, yeah, yeah, it's a self-written song. Okay, called "Rain on Me." It's uh -huh. about rainy day, and it's about it's songs about you know, what you feel after breaking up. All right, mm. all right. So here it is. Let's check it out. Cho Young Woo, and it's called "Rain on Me." It's alright. It's alright. I'm going to be able it's alright, it's alright, I'll be able Rain, 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 come rain on me This peace is alive, I'll It's alright, it's Come rain 
Yes, and that was by Cho Hyung Woo, Rain on Me. Wow, what a beautiful voice you have. Oh, thank you very much. Wow, like, I like it. yeah, I really like the song. <laughs> I really like your voice. You have a very amazing uh, voice. <laughs> and uh, I'm wondering, like, uh, who was uh, some of the artists that you liked growing up? Um, I was in England uh, during the, my middle ages, like, um, during the teenagers. Right. And, um... I was inspired uh, most by a uh, band uh, such as Oasis or Coldplay. Oh, okay. uh-huh, Coldplay. Yes, that's one of my favorite like mm-hmm. bands. And uh, when I came to Korea, uh, I met this mentor Shin Sung Hoon uh-huh. in in William Tanzing in Great Birth. Right. And he gave me like lots of advices and really helped me a lot to become a professional musician. Uh huh. Uh, so I could say those three musicians. Wow. Maybe. And uh, I think a lot of uh, ladies out there right now are going oh. crazy for your voice right oh, now. Thank you. Because uh, we have a message from Iceland. Wow. Yes, Iceland. I want to go there. Yeah, it's 80s. Uh, John Ear. Dottier. Her name is 80s. And she says, Oh, wow. I feel all the way in Iceland. My heart is trembling. You have an amazing voice. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I want to, I really want to visit Iceland. Right. Sigur Rose, the, the band, the famous band in Iceland, that's right. one of my favorite bands. And uh, you're from UK, really? right? Yes, How, yes. Uh, is Iceland around that? Uh, I know it's kind of like, you know, across the sea. Is it really yeah, far? As long as I know, it's really far. It's far. I don't really know where it is but. in detail, but. Um, the, the country, the, the landscape is so beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Thank you so much, 80s. Hmm. And uh, we have another one uh, from USA. It's, USA. A, it's Sandra Batov. She says, Hyungu, I love your speaking voice. Oh, thank you. You have such a uh, unique accent. It reminds me of a British accent. Ah. A- and I think that if I met you in real life, I would end up giggling awkwardly instead of being able to speak your english is so good no, how you. did you learn and your singing voice makes me melt too i didn't know who you were before today but now you have a brand new fan oh thank yeah. you very much oh yeah you got that I'm voice so where you lovely. just wow you sue the, the the ladies hearts i'm actually doing it yeah well, thank you very much <laughs> wow this is so fantastic yeah yes so uh she's asking uh how did you learn english because you know obviously your english is like perfect oh, thank you uh, yeah. i had to because i was i was there for i, I went to like schools and um at first it was really difficult mm-hmm. because before i go to england i was like ag um 14 maybe right and before then i asked i couldn't speak english at all at all like right. anything at all but then I had to get on along with it. I watch TV, but most of the time I didn't like watching news. Right. But I always like tuned to MTVs. Uh huh. Like, like at that time, but um, yeah, it just came out when I you know just and you're I think like living it out. I think that's a good way to really learn any type of language because a lot of listeners they want to learn Korean. Oh yes. yes and yes. they want to learn English too, mm. or they want to perfect their English, or maybe even perfect their Korean. And the best way, like you mentioned, is probably watching. Yeah. Music videos or yeah, dramas? Music videos, dramas. Dramas really help. Like, Teletubbies right. helped me at <laughs> first. Yeah. You heard it. You know, that's the way to really get better at a language. Mm. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much, Sandra. And uh, we have another one. Oh, wow. The message board is going on fire right now. It's Romania Simeon. Mm. Ona, she says, amazing. Wow. Thank you for this amazing live. Your voice is so pure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, uh, Simeon. And uh, wow, we, we, we're having messages all around the world. Oh. And uh, this one is from USA. It's Sierra. Wonderful live, Hyungu. Uh, I was on the verge of crying. Oh. Wow. wow. It's, it's really, it's such a fantastic moment. Like, right. I'm actually communicating with the fans abroad, uh, like all of the abroad the countries. Right. And it's really... And that's the beauty of uh, Super K-pop yes, is like, you get to meet really your, you know, your fans and, and the listeners just from all around the world. Oh. Really good, thank and, you. And uh, we have another one from USA. It's Rosa. Rosa, yeah. uh, hola, uh, hola, DJ Randy and uh, Hyungu. Uh, this is Rosa from Peru. Wow, mm. I can't believe Hyungu is at Super K-pop. 
Thanks for your song, Rain On Me. OMG, oh my gosh. I Thank love you. Rain because I think someone remembers me. Mm. Mm. And uh, the song that you sang was Rain On Me, right? And yes. uh, I was wondering, do you do you like rain? Do you like rainy days? Well, I want to be really honest. All right. Uh, being really honest, I really hate uh, rainy days. Oh. Because it brings me down so much. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, it's really wet. And, you know, in England, it rains a lot. Um, guys, in England, you know that. Right. The weather is really terrible. Uh-huh. And um, um, I prefer sunny days because I can go out with anything. I was like, in sunny day, you don't look anything, but you just go out and walking around. Right. That's really good. But rainy days always brings me down. But it helps me to write right. the songs. But um, yeah, it's it's um, kind of kind of pain or lonely. Right. It gets me lonely. So right. maybe I could say that I don't like rainy days, but uh. um, in some other way, maybe I like it. Right. I mean, I, I'm just like you because hmm. I hate rain. <laughs> I hate I rain. Hate I, hate I hate rain because it makes me feel, you know, down, and I, I don't want to do nothing when it rains. Hmm. But you're right. When it rains, hmm. y your emotions, they, they, be, you know, you feel it. You know, yes. they come at a peak, and that's when you know you start to write hmm. all these, you know, yes, sad songs, yes, all these good songs. Yes, it's kind of ironic because in my Korean name, there's rain. Uh -huh. It means rain. Okay. Yeah, my name Hyung means in in Chinese word, it means shining and. Wu means it means rain. Rain. So it's, it's like shining it's like rain. Shining rain. You become a shining some something really important person. Right. Like shining rain. Uh huh. But um, I hate rain. But, but you so. know what? You're shining right now. Wow. You're thank shining you. right now at yeah. Super K-pop. Yeah. And, and the listeners are truly loving your voice. Shining rain is in the Super K-pop. Yes. So uh, we're gonna listen to another song, and it's called uh, Anan Namja, mm -hmm. and this one is featuring uh, Kim Yedim. So so let's mm. check it out right now, someone I know. Oh, 
Yes, and this was by Choi Hong Woo featuring Kim Yerim, Someone I Know. I didn't I really like the song. I really like the song, I really like the song and I really like the music video. Thank you. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's, a movie. It's, uh, I really enjoyed working, like, uh, like making this, this music video right. and the recording. It took really a long time. Was it your idea uh, making the, the idea of the uh, music video? Uh, there was like a music video. Director is a really famous one of the most famous music music video director, okay. uh, Huang Zua, Miss Huang. Right. Yeah, and um, she was she had a really uh, deep like kind of conversation about who I am and uh, what I usually feel after you know like um, when I meet girlfriend or whatever. right, right. And then she was like, maybe we could talk about something like this. Right. So all the people like uh, the composer, right. lyricist, and me. And the music director, as a visual director too, and right. uh, we worked together uh -huh. uh, uh, to talk about this. Yeah, yes. I I think I can watch that uh, mm. music video over and over again and mm. just not be bored of it because it's oh. it's like it's like a story. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a story. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys haven't checked that out, you guys should check it out. All right, someone mm. I know by Choi Hyung Woo. It's mm. it's a very great song. And great music video. And uh, we have lots of messages for you. And uh, this mm -hmm. one is from Indonesia. Uh, oh, it's Andina. And she says, uh, 안녕, uh, Randy Opa and Cutie Hyungwoo. Oh, thank you. 안녕하세요. And she says, anyways, can I ask you, why did you make someone I know like a thriller movie? <laughs> and uh, I'm kind of scared when I watch the movie. Seems like mm -hmm. Halloween a little bit. Mm -hmm. But your voice is really nice. And I love your voice a lot. Thank you so much. Randy Opa and uh, Hyung Woo Opa fighting Andina from Indonesia. Oh, thank you. Mm. It was intended maybe like um, to um, uh, express the the very painful and violent um, moment inside your heart after breaking up. Yeah, it is so. What can I say? It's so confusing. It, it's, it's, it's it's so hard. It's hurt. It, it's it, hurt. It hurts so much. A lot of scars. Yes, yeah. It's not. Uh, it's it's really messy. It's I, not beautiful right. at all. I, I hate breakups. Love breaking. I I really hate breakups. <laughs> I wish this world was. Uh, you know, I, I wish we didn't have breakups, but yeah. sooner or later, mm. feelings start to change. Mm. All right, <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Andy. Now we have another one mm -hmm. uh, from Morocco. Wow. It's Nuha, and uh, she says to uh, Jo Young Woo, "Hello." Mm -hmm. I love your music. I feel so good when I listen to your songs. Ah, thank you. It gives a very so weird feeling and it's relaxing. And she gave you a very oh. great question. Who's your favorite female vocalist? Much love from Morocco. Um, I think um, she said uh, something really uh, something really meaningful. It mm. gives you the weird kind of feeling. Right. But uh, at the same time, you feel kind of... Relaxing, right? That's I think that's kind of what I always intend to do. Making the I, yeah, man. When, when I make the song, when I sing, right? My voice tone, kind of, right? Yeah. So, um, thank you. My maybe you got it right. right. And um, my favorite um female vocalist is Park Ji Yoon. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> I like her too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I really like her. I'm a, uh, she's in the now now she's in the same company with me. Wow. And, um, did you do a song with her as well? Yes, yeah. recently right? we we did a recording. Is of a, it's an original soundtrack of a of a drama. Right. And um, I was I was so happy to. Meet her in the yeah, meet her because before then I didn't have any time to like see her. Right. And when I actually first saw her, I was like, um, I'm a big fan of you or uh -huh. with this this kind of album. And right. then I couldn't actually look at look into like look at her like because she's so beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right. Seriously, I was uh -huh. I was like, um, she was there, and right. I was like, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. She's uh, yeah, I was such a big fan of you, and I was like, keep like. Right. Looking at the other way because I was so shy. Yeah. Like, shy. That's what happens when you really uh, yes. respect a, a artist that yeah, you like. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, do you Seriously. think uh, there will be any uh, new collaborations with uh, Park Ji Yoon Shi in, in the near future? Or uh, hopefully, with the every artist in the same company, like um, they are really interesting musicians. They are right. all like um, quite many of them uh -huh. write songs, and they right. all like um, always um, appears with. Uh, create outstanding their own creative music mm -hmm. so maybe I'm hoping to um, collaborate with many artists and uh, in, in, in right. company too and uh, we're all really uh, looking forward to that hmm. and uh, we have uh, another one 
from uh, USA. It's uh, Sierra. She says, Hyung Woo, I'm a new fan since last month. Uh, oh, hello, Sierra. Uh, I have fallen in love with your charming voice and songs. Oh, nice and uh, she asks, do you have any secret talents besides singing, playing guitar, or uh, playing the piano? Is mm. there uh, a talent oh. that we don't know about? Um, I couldn't, I don't know if I could say it if it's a talent, but um, people may not realize it, but I really like him. Um, I really like going out. Oh, going out, yes, partying, yeah, yeah, partying, <laughs> right? Like, um, drinking, right? Like, yeah, like I'm, a, I'm a heavy, kind of heavy drinker. Okay. So, yeah, I think I could say uh, something. This is beside me because right. that's something maybe you would not realize. Yeah, mm. I mean, he has a talent for partying. Mm. Yeah, I, I can understand that. <laughs> we all love to party. Yeah, yeah. All right, but like uh, can we party a little bit more by listening to your <laughs> next live song? Wow. So it's called uh, I'm Not the Only One. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, I'm gonna sing Beatles like song. Okay. Can I? Yeah, it's yeah. A, re a rendition of your style. So, yeah. yeah, let's check it out. Here it is I'm Not the Only One, uh, Choi Young Woo style. So, uh, whenever mm. you're ready. Actually, I like, um, I was gonna sing. Yeah. And I'm Not the Only One by Sam Smith, but. Um, Maybe I prefer to sing uh, Yesterday by Beatles. Oh, Yesterday, okay. Yeah, that's what I was All right, so uh, we'll check his uh, rendition of Beatles Yesterday. Here it is. Hope you like it. Oh, we're, we're gonna like it. <laughs> yesterday All my trouble seems too far away now it looks as though they're here to say Oh, I believe in yesterday Certainly I'm not half the man I used to be There's a shadow hanging over me Oh, yesterday comes suddenly why she had to go, I don't know, she wouldn't say I said something wrong, I went long for yesterday Yesterday Love was such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away Oh, I believe in yesterday Why she had to go I don't know she wouldn't say I said something wrong now I long for yesterday yeah, yeah. Yesterday Love was such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away Oh, I believe in yesterday Yes! Thank you. Wow, I really like that rendition. And uh, that was by Cho Young Woo, Beatles, uh, yesterday. And uh, that's a very classic it's song a, to such sing. Such a classic song. Yeah. So, like, I was kind of worried maybe because it's a so like amazing, right. and famous song. But I thought that it could um, give me this uh, kind of this kind of melancholiness and right. uh, loneliness that um, I was supposed to speak in this album. So right. I thought this is the right song. So, uh, Beatles is, uh, are they like one of your uh, favorite groups growing up as yes, well? Yes, yes. Queen Beatles. Queen and, Beatles. Yeah, I was inspired a lot. When I was young, in uh -huh. my in my like family car, right. there was like always uh, this kind of music flowing out. Michael in, Jackson. In the Beatles, radio. Queen, yeah. Uh -huh. in, the, in the, my father like used to own uh, such a like um, long, um, wide kind of, 
collections, right. CD collections and LPs, and right. still like. We are keeping it in in our like houses and all that. Right. Hmm. I think my parents uh they used to listen to a lot of uh, Beatles as well. Yes. And it, it it passed down to me. I listened to a lot, you know, you know, a couple of times. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, uh, we have a couple more questions for you, uh, Youngu, and uh, yeah, Sierra asks, uh, are you a morning person or a night person? I am a night person. Night person. Yes. Yes. Obviously. Uh huh. I sleep. Quite late. Um, I, well, I usually sleep at uh, like four or five in the morning. Oh, me too. Uh, th- yeah, well, I definitely. think that's the similarity uh, yeah. between all musicians, yeah. especially songwriting ones. Exactly. Yeah. And do you write better? I'm I'm wondering. Do you write better during the nighttime or maybe in the afternoon or in the morning? Uh, maybe nighttime. Nighttime, right? Yeah. Try to like oh because in the studio like um, right. always turn out right turn turn out the light and uh. um it's really good. Uh, to look in that look inside yourself and concentrate right. for writing songs. So, uh-huh. yes, I'm just like that too. Mm. And uh, she says, "Now, are there any more artists you would like to collaborate with in the future?" I know. Uh, well, she said from any country. I, oh. You know, you mentioned you wanted to uh, collaborate with people in uh, your company, hmm. but what about like you know maybe outside the country or maybe wow. a. A different genre artist. Um, because I like to play piano, I like to collaborate with um, um, ones uh, people who play guitar because oh, guitar. Like, that makes a great combination. Right. Uh, people like um, Eddie Kim, Eddie Kim. In, in Korea. Okay, and uh, maybe Ed Sheeran. I'm a, such a big fan of Ed, Ed Sheeran. Okay, uh, in England, uh, so those kind of people uh-huh. would um, maybe. Make me such a great harmony because I always like um collaborated with a female artist. I'm a, yeah, I'm a really lucky one. Uh, you are you're like us because <laughs> yes. if you listen to the Lecture Boy song, oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah yeah, all of our featurings are females. Oh we are and lucky. and you you all <laughs> yes. of your featurings are yes. are ladies and yes hundred percent. They're all beautiful. Yeah. What is there a reason behind that, or are it just it just happened naturally? I don't know. It just happened naturally. <laughs> I'm, I'm I think I'm really lucky one. Yeah, we're lucky. Yeah, yeah we are all lucky ones. Yeah, we're just lucky. Mm. All right. Well, thank you. And uh, we have another one from yeah. Malaysia. Wow. It's Nazaria wow. Red Beans, and uh, she says to Jo Youngu, "Can you please come to Malaysia?" Oh. Yeah. Just call. Yeah, please. Yeah, I want to call me. Uh, call him. Yeah, yeah. Call, call. Like, if you call, call him, people. if you call his people, I'm sure uh, he'll be in uh, Malaysia in a heartbeat. Yeah, people in Malaysia. Please. Now I know you did a, a lot of uh, performances uh, in Korea, and you're doing performances mm-hmm. now. Is there a, a specific country that you would love to go to perform, uh, or did you know have a concert? Uh, maybe um, places like um, really like. Uh, Singapore, Taiwan. Uh, Singapore, Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, I heard it's really beautiful. Uh. Yeah, and I'm hoping that um, all those people maybe um, could be interested in me too. Like, uh, right? And it be it will be such a such an amazing kind of love right. from uh, to to get it from like outside your country. Right. Yeah. I always S- wanted to. So you heard it. He wants to go to Singapore. Taiwan, Malaysia too, Malaysia, and yes. I'm sure the UK and all around. Yeah. So please, uh, just call him because uh, he's gonna be there. All right. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we have another one. Uh, this is a very fun question. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a this or that from USA, Sandra. Hey. So basically, you just pick one. Which which one? Which whenever you like. Uh, do you like dinosaurs or lions? Um. I like lions. I lions. Like lions. Yeah. Hard candy or uh, chewy candy? Chewy candy. Chewy. Obviously, yes. Okay. Definitely. Sexy or sweet? Uh, sexy. Sexy? Yes. yes. I think we all men love sexy. Yeah, we all uh, men. Clingy or indifferent? So are you the clingy type or are you the type that just doesn't care? Mm, I don't know. Maybe clingy one. Clingy? Yeah. And uh, okay, now when you see uh, a girl, do you mm-hmm. like uh, short hair or long hair? Long hair. Long hair. Yes. You're like me, long hair. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about, like, you know, breakups uh, through your songs. Mm. But uh, I'm sure uh, the ladies out there, the listeners out there mm. are wondering, mm. what is uh, Cho young Woo's type? Type. What is your type? Um, Very smart and gentle. Smart and gentle. Of, yeah, yeah. Who could, like, kind of um, 
kind of lead me, lead like you. kind of uh, comfort me. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those kind of com- comforting kind of like ladies. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I like yeah. the way you expressed it. Someone yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. calm, gentle. Yeah. Someone that could lead mm. you. Mm. All right. And uh, we have one more. It just came in right now from Tunisia. Mm-hmm. Bezma Kassam. Yesterday Hello. by Cho young Wow, this is my favorite song of the Beatles. You did a great job. It's such a good song. Thank you. Totally love it. I have a weakness to British accents, so I can't <laughs> help it but fall for you. Huh. Thank yeah. you very much. It's wow. such a good song. They're all falling for you right now. Wow. And uh, we're all wondering, uh, you know, what is... Uh, your dream as Cho young Woo? Um, um, to be, to become a uh, um, standing and creative like a singer-songwriter mm-hmm. who, could, who could have his own area of music. I think that's the best um, goal of right. every singer-songwriter, right. I think. And also, can you tell us your uh, upcoming uh, promotions? Mm, I'm thinking about, um, we are still um, doing uh, this uh, Someone I Know okay. uh, songs. And um, um, please look forward to the next album because I already started writing new songs. We, are, we have actually kept some more songs wow. that has been released. So yet. that's probably going to come out maybe, maybe sometime yeah, early yeah. next year. Yeah, maybe. I think so. Like, All right. Well, uh, yeah, I had a very great time. And uh, we're wondering, did you have a great time? Yeah, I had a great time. Because really. it's already time Thank to say you, goodbye. Really. Oh. And everyone out there, please support his song, Anandamja, Someone I Know. Looking it's... forward to see you guys. Yeah, because like, next... he's going to perform a lot of that, you know, that song, right? Yes, yes, yes. Still. Yeah. So. I had a very great time. And can you please look at the camera and say one last thing to all the Super K-pop listeners all around the world? Uh, I really want to say thank you to the, all the Super K-pop like, listeners and really hope to see you next time again. So um, hope you liked the moment and uh, with us. And have a good night. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, the last song by him is Cho Young-woo, One Day All of a Sudden on a Nal Muntuk. 감사합니다. 감사합니다.